So we're off and running. What are we, 12 days in, give or take? 13, 14 days off and running. But let's go back to that savings thing. Because we got all these ideas where people thought, well, you know, that, you know, that's not quite right. What you think is not quite right. But we got some great ideas from folks too. So it wasn't all just kind of interesting stuff. It was some really good ideas. And we've taken off on some of those and started to utilize those. So the first has been Peach Jar. So Peach Jar allows us to send a whole bunch of stuff electronically that we used to copy and you would get in a paper folder. And then you'd probably get those same papers next week and then the same papers the week after that. So in an effort to reduce paper, we've moved to Peach Jar. Sorry for the volume on the gloves. <laughs> Second, uh, we've taken a look at our utilities and we put in place a utility incentive for the buildings to reduce utility usage. And so far what we've seen is that our utility bills are down, mostly on the gas side, and that's primarily because January, February, and March were, very, were a lot warmer than the prior year. But overall, kilowatt hour usage is down about 5% um, across the district. Some buildings, that we've got double digit reductions in what they're doing. And we know that the new HVAC systems we put in this summer will save some funds on electrical costs there as well. And we've got more of those coming into the future. So we also take a look at personnel. People thought, hey, you need to reduce people. You know, but we're a pretty lean organization already. You know, I mentioned the administrators, the shortage there. We know what, uh, we've got some high class sizes across the district, really. But what we do, what we are doing is that anytime anybody leaves, we, we're really asking, do we keep that position? Do we restructure it? Can we realign it? How can we look at every position to make, make us more efficient? We have the personnel piece. We have the rental piece. People told us, you know, we need to take a look at our rental structure to try to bring in some more revenue that way. So we've actually got a group that's been uh, working on that, did a little bit of work on the summer. Hopefully we'll be finished uh, late in the, late this semester, early next semester, and comparing our rental structure to other districts and how we can leverage some of our facilities that people would like to get into a little bit more uh, to create some revenue. Folks told us we could save money by, block by eliminating block scheduling. This is one that has attracted a, a lot of attention. The reality is from the report that we got two weeks ago, you can definitely save money by eliminating block scheduling. The question is, will we, should we, what that's going to look like? So we've got a group that's looking at that. They're actually going to have their first meeting tomorrow and there's a community meeting tomorrow night at Oakville High School on block scheduling. And those will be held uh, a few more throughout the fall. But the biggest number really is that um, a couple weeks ago we took presented inf preliminary information to the Board of Education on refinancing some outstanding debt. Um, and we anticipate that we would recommend next week and that the board would act to refinance some outstanding debt to lower the interest rates and keep the term of the debt the same but save about a half a million dollars over five years. So we're looking at uh, doing that probably next week is when that would occur. So that's some significant savings there. So new this year is a website new website this year. Uh, it's a new website because the folks who did our old website, the company was phasing out, so we had to get a new one. So it's a little bit, uh, looks a little bit different. You know, you got my shiny head on there. Uh, we can remove that at any time, John. Um, but from that website, we've got a new piece that just launched last week called Let's Talk. We had an Ask the District piece to our website. Um, and folks would ask, folks would send in a question, that question would go to one person, then that one person would, you know, try to search out and find the answer and reply back. 
Now we've got the Let's Talk piece. So if you have a question about transportation, you click on transportation. That question goes directly to our transportation department. So here you click on a button, you fill out a little form, it goes directly uh, to the person who's responsible for that area. And we've kind of got a, a generic area too. So today we got roughly a dozen or so uh, questions on uh, Let's Talk. That's just what it's called, Let's Talk. Also on our website, uh, we've got a whole new section devoted to district finances. A lot of district uh, financial information, old information, a lot of old budgets, a lot of old audits, a lot of old finance stuff, along with current year stuff. So this is kind of your one-stop shop for district finances. You click on any of these buttons and more things open up. Also on our website that's kind of new and interesting is a community dashboard. This is on our key performance indicators within our strategic plan. So two of them say zero. That's because when I grabbed this off of our website a while back, we did not have data for those two items yet. So these are the six key indicators and we can take a real quick snapshot of how we're doing relative to those. But you can click on any one of those boxes and it, the data expands around that particular piece. And then even in there, you can kind of click around a little bit and play around.